Welcome back, it's nice to see you again. Today's episode we're going to show you how to get access to thousands of symbols and illustrations free from Apple so that you can use them in your Final Cut or Motion projects or really any other creative app that you're using on your computer once you have it set up. If you're new to the channel and you like seeing how to reproduce effects and transitions and titles, make sure to subscribe. We've got lots of content coming out every single week. And as always, the free downloads are available in the description down below. So make sure you go check those out. So maybe you're making a shopping list for your viewers to follow along with, or maybe you're giving a tutorial that has dangerous steps and you wanna warn people about that. Or maybe you're just showing people how to turn the Wi-Fi on and off on their device. There are so many symbols that are so useful for so many use cases. So let's show you how to get access to every single one of these. This is SF Symbols. This is the app that you'll be downloading. Uh, SF stands for San Francisco, and you will see why in a minute. And you can see there are lots of symbols to choose from here. Uh, as of the time of recording, there's over 3,200. You can see on the left, there's all sorts of different categories, depending on what kind of symbol you're looking for. And in the top right, there's a search, if you know what you're looking for as well. So let's come over here, for example, you can see weather lots of different symbols to indicate different kinds of weather uh, and you'll even recognize some of these if you have an iphone from either the watch uh, weather complication or from the weather uh, app on your iphone it's also maybe you're making a video about certain devices or things like that you've got loads of symbols for that and then even for gaming you've got d-pads you've got left and right joysticks you've got left and right bumpers so there's tons of options let's show you how to download this app you're going to open your favorite browser and you're going to developer.apple.com slash fonts. You're gonna scroll down, you'll see that Apple actually publishes five different fonts. Four of them are variations on SF or San Francisco. Now the one that you absolutely need is SF Pro, but they're all free so you can download all of them if you'd like. SF Compact is the smaller version of San Francisco that's used on Apple Watch. SF Mono is what they use in coding environments, so Xcode or maybe the terminal. Maybe you're making a matrix looking video and you want your text to look like it's uh, from a terminal. That could be a good option for you. There's SF Arabic, which adds lots of characters for Arabic languages. And then finally, New York, which is just their serifed font. So I like to think of it sort of like the Times New Roman that goes along with uh, the Helvetica. Once you have those downloaded and installed, then we need to switch over and download the SF Symbols app. You'll be going to developer.apple.com slash SF symbols, link in the description below. And once you're here, you can see this is the app I was demoing for you before. Now you will see some features on this page that you won't really have access to. So these multicolored symbols, for example, are specifically for if you're using SF symbols within an iOS or a Mac app. So you're doing the actual coding of an app, which is fine. We can color these ourselves. You just don't get some of these convenient things that they add specifically for people that are writing code. Once we scroll all the way to the bottom, you just download SF symbols and you'll follow the setup process there. Once you have it installed, we're going to open it back up and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So let's say we're making a gaming video. We want this left joystick symbol. We select it and press Command-C to copy. I'm going to option drag this text to duplicate it. I'm gonna select the existing text and press Command-V to replace it with this symbol. Now once it's here, you can style it just like any other text. So for example, we can come down here to face and we can change it to whatever color we like. Maybe we wanna add a glow or a drop shadow. Everything's available to you just like this was normal text. In case you haven't figured it out, the reason why you needed to download the San Francisco font is because these symbols are actually part of the font. That means that when using these symbols, you have to have San Francisco set as your font for the text that you are using. So that's fine, you can mix and match fonts in a single piece of text in Final Cut Pro, but just be aware, if you accidentally change the font of the symbol itself, it'll disappear and you'll need to change it back to San Francisco. All right, that's it for this one. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. If you have a YouTuber, TV show, a movie, a transition effect, a title that you wanna know how to do in Final Cut Pro or Apple Motion, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to make that video for you. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.